How's it going folks? Welcome back to another Gundag Outdoors video. In today's video is the highly anticipated update video on my Crazy Hunter harassment video I put out about two months ago. But before I get into today's video, let me show you guys that we do still have the Gundog shirts still in stock. The first run, um, this is the tan one. Got a pretty sweet design on it of those dogs and the geese. Um, got the Gundag Outdoors on the front. So we got that one in tan. And we also have it in green as well looks pretty sweet if you ask me um gonna be a good christmas gift i know i'd be happy if i got it for christmas but that is besides the point now let's get into the video if you guys have not seen the previous video let me give you a little bit of a backstory. what essentially happened was me and the boys got permission to go goose hunting on this pond from a landowner that i've known for about a year now and essentially what happened was we got there we got there in the morning hunted till about nine o'clock the first group of geese came in big wad of them we shot just about every one of them uh, some cripples went to the other end of the lake my buddy luke got in the boat went to the other end of the lake trying to find one of the cripples and as he's looking for it an old man came down the hill and started yelling at luke saying that we didn't have permission to be there we needed to have written permission from everybody in the party we needed duck stamps licenses all this junk and Luke's like, I don't even know who you are, so I'm not gonna answer to you. Uh, the guy eventually went back up the hill, Luke came back to us. As he's telling us the story, I look across the pond and coming down the field to the edge of the pond to where our trucks are parked is a Jeep. And I walked over to the trucks, I found the Jeep, and in the Jeep is the older gentleman. He's driving down our license plates and we had a conversation for about five minutes. He basically kept telling me that we needed to have written permission, which is not a law in Georgia. You, verbal permission is enough to go hunting on someone else's property. The gentleman said that he worked for somebody who leased the cattle pastures around the pond and that he got scared from all the gunshots and that he didn't like us being there. But nothing really was accomplished during the conversation. He ended up leaving and I went back to the guys and was telling them the story about what all had been said. And as I'm telling the story, a side-by-side -side comes down through the pasture that the Jeep followed. And I decided to go over there and talk to the person. The side-by-side, -side, I met the older gentleman once again and a younger guy who is now telling me that we did not have permission to be there because they leased the entire property, not just the pond itself, but they leased the pond, the pastures, all of it. I did know that that someone leased the pasture land but he was saying that he leased the pasture land and the pond itself uh, so I decided the best thing to do in the situation was to get out of there get out of everyone's hair and get in contact with the landowner to figure out what the heck was going on it turns out the younger guy who told us to leave was a liar he did not have the rights to anything that happened on the pond he was just the leaseholder of the pasture land around it and he wrongfully kicked us off that pond which sucked for us in the moment because there was a hundred and something geese on that pond but in the end it actually turns out better for us because here's the update part of the video I ended up showing my landowner that video that I took of the younger gentleman and the older gentleman, and he was not happy at all at how those two guys treated us, and he actually ended their lease on that property. Uh, they are not allowed to be on that lease anymore. He told them to pack up their cows and get out of there by the end of the year. I went over there the other day, and all the cows are still there, and it's December like late December so he's about running out of time but yeah they're no longer allowed to be there we don't have to worry about them anymore and them being kicked off the land kind of gave me the idea that I wanted to have sole permission to hunt this property didn't want to have any more confrontations so I asked the landowner if he would be willing to lease out that pond and the hunting rights of the pond to me and he agreed on it so now I am the leaseholder of that pond and the hunting rights and it is a pretty special spot uh, we don't get many big ducks in Georgia and there's always some big ducks on that lake mallards gadwall um, there was a snow goose on it there's a bunch of Canada geese and sometimes there are wood ducks on it as well it definitely turned out good for the boys in the end we don't have to worry about those guys anymore and now we have sole permission on that property at least for the next year but yeah that's basically gonna wrap up the update video y'all absolutely blew up the last video it's at over a hundred thousand views right now and our channel is this close to a thousand subscribers I will be doing 1,000 subscriber giveaway make sure you guys are tuning in to gundog underscore on Instagram for the giveaway details if you don't have Instagram leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to get you entered for the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I hope I answered all the questions that you guys have been leaving down in the comments um, about what ended up happening in the whole situation. And yeah, that'll do it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.